Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Need to make changes to an invoice in Zuhu Books. Watch this quick tutorial to learn how to edit and update your invoices in 2024. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So first of all guys, we need you to go ahead and open Zuhu Books. Right after that, you should go to the sales section where you will find the invoices. Go to invoices and you will find them right here. Now, in this area, if you didn't have an invoice already, this is how you can create them. By clicking on plus new invoice and a new invoice should be created in a few seconds. Now, I have this invoice that I have created in a previous video and basically I will need to edit it. So simply go to the right, to the maximum right, and then click on edit. This will open the invoice again. So this is exactly how it looked once I have tried to create it for the first time. And there you go. So now in this area, you could really take your time now editing your invoices, fixing the mistakes that you have done, or basically maybe the clients have changed his mind about the product that they want so no need to create a new invoice simply go right here edit the item details uh, and amounts and quantity and basically uh, the total of course and there you go everything's gonna be fixed let me just show you um like like an application for it so first of all some common mistake that you might do is basically choosing the wrong clients. So in my case, I only have these clients. Let me just create a new one. Click choose an individual, Mister, and here let's name it for example, uh, uh, something like that. I'm Luna, and here company name, uh, something like this. Here custom display name. Let's add here for example Luna so we can know we are targeting the company name which is this one and we are talking with this specific person which is Luna. Here customer email just for cases of um like communication and basically reaching out to each other. We must add here customer email or either phone number so we can have at least like a way to, of communication between us in case there was any mistake or thing that we need to edit in the invoice we can easily fix that with one phone call or basically one email then next thing is the company id these information you have to fulfill them by your own in case it was a company or simply like individual in case of individual you don't really have to go for this but in case it was a business in a company then yeah sure you should edit all of these uh, add here like the address this address is very helpful when it comes to like delivery you will have everything here in detail so no need for changing it for every time so for those who are really gonna be taking this as serious as possible make sure to ask your customer for everything in here so you can have literally everything or basically everything will be like right here filled and you don't really need to ask him any more about any more questions or details since everything will be written in this area and the ones you save simply just like that all the information that you have written are going to be added automatically to this page of the invoice. So that's something to take as a very good advantage. When you fulfill the page of customer, the other details that might be in the invoice are going to be fulfilled automatically and directly. That is something to do. Also the invoice number. Here, this is very important. Make sure to always make uh changes on the invoice normally it would change automatically but sometimes it might happen a mistake where two invoices will have the same number serial number so make sure to change it so you, you have a difference and you can distinguish the difference between each invoice with its number and basically it's going to be making your life much more easier then the second thing is these billing address and shipping address as i said they are going to normally be uh, fulfilled automatically in case you didn't add the billing address and the shipping address, then you should fulfill them manually by your hands. 
here we have the salesperson and uh, the person or department who is in charge of these clients basically you just have to choose them and add them right through here here the subjects and some other informations here you have the items or basically the product that you have sold for the client so you have here the item table for example let's say um you can add items this is very cool option in uh, zuhu books which allows you to literally just add items automatically um what i'm gonna do is simply just add here a name for example um then or basically wood planks 10 centimeters quantity let's add here like a good amount 24 24 and rate i don't know which rate is for you can perform basic calculation i don't know amount here we should fix the amount maybe rate is the price yeah rate is the price all right so let's say for each wood plank it will cost them around 20 or seven dollars so this is the amount so 24 per 7 is 168 bucks if there is any text that has to be added then simply just add it um tv 20 percent save and yeah it has been added automatically so here this is the quantity this is the rate this is the amount and here the taxes uh, let's just change remove the adjustments and yeah here it is so now this is the item uh, we have added it this is the amount which is without the tax and here the tax has been added and this is the total in case there was too many items then simply you can click on add new row or add new items in book and you can literally just add multiple items at once in case you had items already created within the software that will make your life much more easier and make the task of adding items even more easier so of course as a company will have specific items that you sell so yeah that will literally just makes it easier you know already the items put them here put the prices of each item right here and once you want someone asks for something you will simply just click on this item no need for writing the name again and just like that you will not have like errors in the writing you will not make mistakes when it comes to price and so much more than that and once you finish the editing of this invoice and you feel like it's done you have maximized the edit that you want to do and you fixed every single error then simply click on this save button which is located down below right here in the bottom of the page so there is two options save and save and send save and send to basically send it to the customer save is to only save it within the data of this software and yeah that is pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel if you have any more questions or problems make sure to mention them down below see you guys in the next tutorial